Hello and welcome to SCP The Red Lake. Let's just get right into it. Reason why is because we're already breaching. <laughs> So let's just get right in there. Um, I'm gonna I'm buy a ton of C4. Anyways, welcome to the SCP Red Lake. We're doing the event right now. By the time that this video comes out, either there's gonna be a day left on this event or the event's completely over. So I'm sorry that I'm recovering this event so late. I wanted to cover it sooner, especially with all the Robux I spent on this event. And let me tell you, I said, ooh, ooh, I bought a lot of this event. I didn't even grind a majority of it. I'm sorry, but like, I, I just didn't have the time, man. I didn't have the time. But anyways, yes, this is SCP Red Lake. It is a, for the most part, the classic way to play the game is like a wave defense game with a lot of different characters to play lots of different types of grinds for those characters because you have an overall level and your operatives which is the main way that you're playing the game how do i do that for a shy like that let's go easy clap but your operatives also have a level and with your operatives they have perks and different weapons and different items and stuff like that i wanted to cover this game sooner man i really did i got so busy doing other stuff man this event it ends on the first of september so if it's already past the first of september I'm sorry. If it is the 1st of September by the time that you guys are seeing this video, I'm sorry. However, I don't think that it's going to be the 1st of September when you guys see this video. I think it's going to be the day before. I believe this is coming out the 31st. But SB Red Lake, I love this game. And the developers of this game, they deserve more love, I feel like, for this game. I don't know. I see this game pop off, and then I see it, like, drop down, and I see it go back up, and it's just like, this game just deserves more love. But I can see why people aren't playing it as much. I feel like there's only... When it comes down to the nitty and gritty of it all there's only two game modes well it's really just two maps for one game mode it's not that the content's missing it's just that there's not enough things to do outside of those things right there you know there's not there's not much which is why this event is so awesome because i mean it's a whole new map it's a whole new game mode it's sick right so i can see that side of things but for the most part i really do enjoy this game i feel like the grind is really fun it is extremely grindy but it's really fun i really enjoy this so far of course i'm using the most busted weapon of the game in terms of like it having a huge area of effect and dealing 50 damage per tick look at that we're just like literally the chaos and service here coming out of the gates going <laughs> We're just gassing them out. But I absolutely adore this game, man. I've been having so much fun grinding it. I don't even know if you guys have been asking for it, but I, you know, regardless if you guys have been or have not been, it's just been so much fun to me. I love this, dude. I love this so much. But when the event ends, I know that all of your UIU tickets, because it's a UIU event, all of those tickets turn into XP for your operative, your overall level. So doing this isn't necessarily a bad thing. And also, I don't know why so many people are doing classic right now anyways, considering that this game mode ends soon and this game mode gives you more potions it gives you more red crystals it's better to grind this in my experience right now but i understand and the reason why i'm playing a hacker and also this is the max hacker by the way i maxed out the hacker uh, operative the reason why i'm playing max hacker is because you can use the battle drone this battle drone right here you can use that to block the uiu commander which has a health bar and uh if you keep the commander alive you win so yeah i'm just trying to keep the commander alive at all costs that, that's pretty much it i'm just gonna fire through the wall right here because this is uh this is how i like to grind and i just like to fire through the wall and have the protection of the wall <laughs> the only problem with being a hacker in my experience though is if you die just good luck you have to count on your teammates to hopefully maybe be able to protect the commander because people like to use goc with their shields to block the commander or they can get their normal shields to try and protect the commander but for the most part what you like to do is you like to use this battle drone and then just put it in front of the bullets and basically there's like the bullets there's the commander you put the battle drone right between those two and you're good to go for the most part you'll be you should be fine emphasis on should be though all right we're gonna get a nice flank come in from the ci here this entire event is just basically the chaos uncertainty versus the uiu which makes sense but it's also fascinating i don't know i just really like this game man if you guys would like to see more streams and videos on this game let me know in the comment section below or by giving this video a lot of love in terms of the comments liking and subscribing all that good stuff just showing this video love and support would tell me that you guys want more and i do sometimes go off of how much love you guys are giving me another thing as well is i actually found out recently that this game has a very rare team or a very rare operative i guess i should say that is uh, we're sitting very far away from that grenade even though we could throw it back i think maybe we could throw those back i don't know for sure what are these grenades there's like two there's like the smoke one that they fire out and there's like an actual grenade grenade that they fire out one of those you can throw back but anyways back to this very rare team that i was talking about of course this game had other limited time events that you could get different operatives from such as they had this one event that was for april fools where you can be the hog rider they also have the squid game guard in this game but there's a specific very rare 
operative that I'm specifically talking about, and that is the rapid response team. You can only get it by participating in events with administration or devs, I believe, and it's just, it's not the easiest thing to get. So hopefully one of these days I can win one of the giveaways and get the RRT team so that way I can show that off as well. But I have the different ideas that I want to cover for this game, such as the different operatives and just enjoying myself and trying to win the game on the hardest difficulties, streaming it with you guys and beating it with you guys, helping you guys unlock the awesome different operatives that you guys can get as well, especially the rare or harder ones to get, such as GOC and the Delta operatives as well. Oh, I love it, man. There's just so many things to do in this game, so many different things to grind, and I just, I, I can't, I can't stop playing this game. It's just, it's just fun. I have been grinding it recently because after I beat the entire UIU event, and what I mean by beating it is I got every single item unlocked from the event. I don't know. I just stopped playing it for a little while, but I love this game. It's just been so much fun to just sit here and grind and enjoy what this game has to offer, and I feel like it deserves more players, man. I really do. But also at the same time, I do think that this game needs more game modes for it to uh, stay afloat properly. That's that's the only concern I have with this game is I want it to live on. I want it to be a strong, healthy game. And it has been for a long time, so I don't have any worries about that. But I do have worries about its player base like fluctuating up and down. And I feel like a good thing that I would like to see come from this game. Hold on, I need to spawn in some ammo real fast. Let's do some ammo right here real quick so that way everyone can get their ammo up. And let's go ahead and spawn the battle drone um, here in a moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little glitch. I'm going to uh, hopefully give you guys a little tutorial on this you just shove your face into this here i'd like to do a slash e laugh and then when i lean all the way back i zoom in bam i'm through the store now uh we're gonna go ahead and spawn the battle drone we're gonna get it in place but for the most part yeah i'm, not, I'm really not worried this game has stayed afloat for a very long time and i don't see this game dying at all anytime soon it's just it seems like the game is doing really well the developers are very passionate about it and they're working really hard on it so i, I really genuinely don't really got any worries for it whatsoever let me go ahead and clear this up for you guys because uh yeah these this uh this ambush right here is not very ideal if i'm be honest one guy left come here stop going back and forth and you're done all right sick okay uh we're gonna go over here we're gonna put the drone right around here and then uh it should be good like right here i think anyway so that's how you set up the battle drone for this part and then you don't have to worry about your teammates dying or and then losing their shields to protect the commander and then you're good <laughs> But yeah, I did be this entire UIU event. I had a lot of fun doing it. It is very grindy though, but this entire game is pretty grindy. But I, I, you know, that's the thing though, is that I'm glad that this game is grindy. I'm glad that there's always something for you to do in this game. And also back to what I'm talking about with the game mode stuff. I just want to put it out there as well that the developers already stated that they're working on other game modes for other future updates. So it's, it's looking really good for this game, man. And whatever's coming in the near future, I'm excited for that as well. And also they have like skins, like cosmetic skins for all of your different operatives as well. Dude, I just love what they're doing for this game, man. Props go out to the developers or the developer of this game because, of course, I'm not too entirely sure whether or not the developer is a solo dev or not. I'm assuming for this game, it's more than one dev, but it's like uh, not a full-fledged, like, huge team or something. We're staying very far away from any explosives in this. Yeah, that is why. And that is why we also have the drone there. And I put the drone in a uh, decent place. It's just not perfect. Let me fix it. Alright, let me just put the drone right here. And we're good. There we go. Solid. There we go. Nice. All right, now we just stay away from all the grenades. We leave the drone there to do its job, and we just keep gaming. Normally, I don't really play as the hacker anymore, but also at the same time, it's one of the best ways to grind, so you kind of do what you need to do because this hacker was a limited time game pass, and I don't know if this is ever coming back. I don't know if the Squid Game Guard is coming back. I don't know if the Hog Rider is coming back. I kind of hope the so, though, because I want to get all the operatives so I can make videos on them. But uh, if I don't get them, it is what it is, I guess. I'm also going to try my best to max out all of the operatives as well. I don't know. I'm just trying to have fun. Whenever I make videos or I play games, I just, I just play them for fun, and hopefully it's entertaining to you guys. If it's not, well, at the very least, I had fun doing it. <laughs> okay, I'm running out of grenades, so that's a little bit of a concern, but also at the same time, I'm not that worried, because my entire job is pretty much just to uh, survive and keep the drone up, otherwise we lose. You know, I have some confidence with this team. We might be able to win this, but we gotta have a healer. Oh, we do have a healer. This is a viper right there. That's a max viper too. Ooh, I run away from those. Okay, good kick. You can kick that grenade right back. Good stuff. I'm gonna quickly uh, get this ammo. And we gotta take the drone real fast. Come on, drone, go over there, go over there. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Oh, okay, oh, hold on, I'm almost there. There we go, I got it, I got the drone in there. 
We're good now. This grenade launcher is so powerful, man. And before anyone asks, yes, I did spend all my money on this game. And yes, I did buy all the game passes for this game too. <laughs> In fact, I also did some uh, pay to win with this event, like I said earlier. And uh, I don't have any regrets. This game is really good. And I'm glad I could support the developers of this game, man. It, they deserve all of my money. Okay, then from here, we just got to put the drone directly in front of this guy as a means to protect them and then we go back we're almost at the end of this entire event that comes down to whether or not we actually win this or not here let me heal you kind sir let me let me let me heal let me let me heal you there you go i also forgot to even mention that this isn't like a big thing but i do like it whatever level you have you also have a special little title for your level as well so for example i'm a security colonel because of my level but also if i swap to the goc for example i'm pretty sure that being on the goc would make me a goc colonel instead all right we're gonna jump up here so that way the stuff that comes out of here is it gonna be as scary but yeah so mostly this is scp red lake stuff so if you guys know about the scp the red lake then you'll know what is the main game this is just an event so we're fighting against a ton of chaos and certainty however normally we will be going against other things uh we can almost get a blackout hopefully i get to show you guys what a blackout looks like here in a moment let me just fully reload and then after this reload i think i should be able to call it in Awesome, we can. We slow down enemies, we've gotten some 1.5 times more damage, and we just keep blasting. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna win this, and it looks like I'm gonna get all of the rewards from this, from the looks of it, because we just gotta survive right now. Once this blackout is over, I should look to see if I can call in another blackout, which I can, keep it going. Honestly, it's strange that I can even hop on and randomly find a good team to do this event with, because I've been through more bad teams, I've been through good teams. So I'm really happy that this team isn't terrible, but I did run out of ammunition, so we're just gonna start using the AK and Dead. it's not necessarily a bad thing so i'm all for it and one more blackout why not we're almost done we almost survived the entire thing come on keep it going this makes me wonder what the uiu is doing against the chaos uncertainty here and what the chaos uncertainty is even trying to do against the uiu here like why exactly is the uh uiu uh fighting the ci here why are we raiding the ci what are the CI doing? We're holding a bunch of the Red Lake SCPs as well? You know, th that those are the questions I have. But also at the same time, it's a video game. So I'm just here to enjoy it. <laughs> there we go. We got the good ending. Even I know it says no ending, but this is the good ending for this event. And the reason why I like to do this event is because look at all those potions, man. Look at all those red crystals. Oh, so good so so very good let me go ahead and swap i want to show you guys the operatives i have and what operatives there are in this game i don't even have all the classic operatives unlocked i'm getting there but i don't have every single one of them not to mention i don't even have every single one of them maxed out i'm actually very far for maxing out every single operative but eventually i will then we can go to the special ones where we can see that i have the hacker the delta the goc other ones that i don't have unlocked yet which i'm gonna go for eventually then we have all the mtf and the mtf game pass and of course you can only unlock the mtf commander with a certain level as well as a mtf game pass and then we have fbi i believe that some of these are from the uiu event but let me go ahead and swap to the uiu elite because i'm so close to maxing it out and i really like the uiu elite operative so we're gonna go ahead and do that real fast and here's the uiu event shop you guys were able to get all these things using the uiu tickets of course i did a ton of pay to win for this event i'm not even gonna lie i'm not gonna sugarcoat it i genuinely did do a ton of pay to win for this but i still did grind some of the items here not everything but a few things here and there I definitely did. And you can get these two operatives, which were the UIU Detective and the UIU Elite. So happy to have these. These are super awesome UIU operatives. You see, the thing is, is like, I'm not a huge fan of like limited time things because I like everyone having the ability to unlock things, whether it be in the future using some money, which is like Robux, for example, or just, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm just not a big fan of limited things. I'm okay with there being rare stuff, such as the RRT thing. Although I don't really like the idea that you have to earn it or win it through like giveaways and stuff like that. But of course, like it is like the developers give out sort of thing. And I don't really mind that at all. It does get people to join the Discord server and things like that. So I'm not gonna deny that it's not necessarily a bad business idea, but it's just, I'm not a big fan of it personally. And I hope, I really, really hope one of these days I can get the rapid response team or the RRT operative in this game, just for the sake of creating content for you guys. And then of course we have this miscellaneous thing and this thing is really huge for FBI operatives. Anyways though, of course I went to the tickets thing and I, of course you already know that I definitely got the best deal thing a couple of times. I think I got it two or three times. Now, what I wanna show real quick is these potions. That is of course if I don't have to craft anything, you know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta make sure I don't need to craft anything with those. Cause if I do, that's gonna be kind of a unfortunate. Okay, I don't need potions to craft this, so we're good. 
How do I get Tanzanite? Oh, wait, I remember how to get Tanzanite. Ignore me. We're getting close to this Tanzanite axe. We're gonna get it. It's just gonna take me some time. These are all the permanent stuff that you can craft as well, and then the one life items as well, which I like. But nonetheless, we need to make sure that I drink these potions because I want to show how cool this is. I gotta store all my stuff in there so that way I can specifically get all my potions out. Now watch my operative level go up with this. Ready? Look at this. Bam, bam, and bam. Ooh, so good. I know it's not a ton of XP, but I do like leveling up my operative using the potions because it's just it's just nice it's just nice to have the ability to level up your operative another way instead of just going and fighting every single thing with the operative that you're playing as nonetheless that is it for this video i hope that you guys had a fun time watching this i had a really fun time making it and i didn't even expect to win that event but i'm glad i did because the event's going away so now this is going to go down as something that i can watch in the future if i want to refer back to the uiu event that we had today i also found out there was an mc and d event and unfortunately, I missed that. I probably missed a good amount of events in this game. I just hope that not everything was super limited to the point where nothing ever is going to come back ever. And I hope that things do come back because there's also some Easter stuff I missed too. I wish I was playing this game more often back then. I heard about it a while back, but I just didn't get into it until this event and I just had the Robux to spend on it. So anyways, without further ado, make sure you guys check this game out. Spend your Robux on it if you guys feel like it. I really do enjoy this game. I wanted to support the developers. So of course I did that. But without further ado, I can't wait to see all of you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.